Can you hear us now? Oh, we did the whole intro and everything. You couldn't hear it. I did this big build-up thing in my best WrestleMania voice. We had the costumes and you couldn't... You couldn't... I ain't doing it again. No, I'm not doing it again. I do it I'm again. not doing it again. Time's passed. Time's passed. <sighs> it was funny. Could you see it then? But you just couldn't hear... Oh, man. Well, I was Kraft Hogan and then Craig was the special guest referee, referee. and he was doing the, the count... Um, and I had the... But anyway, happy, happy WrestleMania weekend. I was just saying that Craig, uh, is, you know, Craig put me up to the... You know, it was a case if you can't beat and join them. I love the rest of, uh, referee shirt, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Still a little bit big. But hey-ho, yeah, we're good for the hour when it comes to craft vault here. So some cracking WrestleMania deals when it comes for the next hour here. We've got some bargains for you to go into the weekend. And uh, yeah, we're going to have we're going to have a little look. We're going to have a little look over the next hour. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe we'll recreate it towards the end of the show, perhaps, Could potentially, do. on the way out. Um, I took my wig off because it's quite hot and itchy. I'll keep this on, though. I think this is a little... I, th I think you really suit it. You think? I think you really, really do suit it. What you gonna do, Craig? What you gonna do? I'm gonna count to three. Gonna One, count to three. two, three. Uh, a few quick hellos. So Sarah Rand says, hello again, my favourite people. Sending hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Good day, uh, mate. It's now 3 a.m. and we'll have you in the background as I miss Mr. Doze. As I miss... As I miss a doze off. Oh, I might doze off, so apologies for sending that hugs to you all. Christy Mahoney says, hello again, everyone. Just had an earthquake. It was probably Craig like, was. running across the studio. Never mind Ultimate Warrior doing his run. It's the run of the ref. 4.8 magnitude in New Jersey and New York, but it was minor up in uh, upstate New York, but almost felt like Craig's WrestleMania started already. A little shaky, but fake. Lol. lol. Uh, Pat says, good afternoon, everyone, from a semi-sunny New Jersey. Looking forward to the show. Carletta says, hello from Arkansas. Hello. Hello also to uh, Jessica. Good afternoon. Hillary says, hello, everyone, from Hillary and Holly Collie. It's sunny in Bedlington. Ah. Uh, ben needs to do sign language, says Carletta Morris. Yeah, I should have just, I should have just said welcome. I don't know what WrestleMania is in uh, sign language. I'd have to thing spell it, and that'd take ages. Uh, Jen says, hi, crafty friends. Hi, Kirsty D. Hi, Michelle hi. Butler. Uh, and Kate in California. Kate in California in Somerset says, hi, everyone. Back in the UK again, so I'm able to catch up live. And nice. Beth says, computers died at work, so I guess I'll listen to my two fave boys for a bit. Cindy says, you two always make me smile. And Donna says, just do a voiceover later and post it. That's true. Yeah. You could, could do. do. Could we? Although, we might be posting something else just oh, yeah. later after the show. Yeah. Brother, so what you're going to do? Get to our socials. Great oh, glare, CC. And watch him run wild on you. Ooh. Isn't that right, New York Nick? <laughs> Um, yeah, if you want to see the world's greatest Hulk Hogan impersonator, it's not me, it is um, producer Nick, and you'll see that on the socials in just a bit. Got to do it again, please, says Wanda. We, we, we will, we will, at the end. Um, but for now, let's get into the Craft of Mania deals. Let's um, get ready to rumble. Your multimedia abstract jigsaw dies, the first deal. This is incredible. Because you're getting the big one, the big one. Uh, Ten by eight. It's the abstract um, die set. This one. It's a 44-piece puzzle. This is going to make for you, um, and it is just brilliant. I won't tell the story that I always tell when I um, see this, but you know the story. Uh, how much I paid for uh, a jigsaw way back when, and you now have the opportunity to be able to. I won't tell the full story. You have the opportunity now to be able to uh, make your own jigsaws, print off your own pictures, get the kids coloring, get some mount board uh, and make your jigsaw puzzles. Make a little box to go with it. And you know what? Initially, you might start making these friends and family, but later down the line, you might have a little side hustle of making jigsaws um, and selling them. Why not? As long as you own the photo, the right for the photo, then you can absolutely do it. Normally, 50 pounds or 40 bucks, uh, you are looking at 11 pounds 99 or 9.59 
today. And of course, I talk about multimedia dies, Craig, um, and you know, this cutting through mount board, but this will cut through a whole lot more as well, won't it? Oh, absolutely, yes. So many different materials, because of course it is a multimedia, multi-craft die. So any of the thicker dies are going to work. You're going to need for the Gemini, your base cutting plate, frosted shim, magnetic shim. That's what you're going to need to counterbalance, of course, that weight and the thickness. Be a really good one about the photos. Or maybe, and it's just come to my head there, you know how maybe at Christmas birthdays you buy someone tickets for a concert or a show or that? but you've not got the tickets yet. Print it out, stick it onto, of course, the mount board, die cut it, then that's a puzzle. And as they put the puzzle, it says, this ticket entitles you and one other person to entry to, I don't know. WrestleMania. WrestleMania. I was trying to stay away from that one just for a moment at the start of Craft Fault there. But yeah, it could be. Or it could be when WWE come back to the UK, Scotland, for Friday Night Smackdown and Clash at the Castle in Glasgow, even though Glasgow doesn't have a castle, uh, it, could be, uh, it could be that. <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, good true old. story. Yeah, true story. True that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that is 11 99 or 9.59, uh, Jules says, you two are so funny. Was one of the wrestlers, says Jules, the Undertaker years ago, and he used to do a funny thing with his eyes? Yes, and he still is. He's yeah. retired, he does talks and what have you, and he appears every now and again. I'm pretty sure he's going to appear at the WrestleMania at some point, he's got yeah. to, he's got to. But yeah, rolls his eyes in the back of his head. Like this. Rest in peace. And then Paul Bear, his manager, used to be, Ooh! oh! Uh, Craig, says Karen, Hulk Hogan lives in Clearwater, Florida, he not does. too far from the HSN Studios. Um, my Fibro Disney Journey says, afternoon, happy WrestleMania weekend. I hope I can stay awake for it. And Catbutt says, hello, Ben, Craig and Crafties. Had a lovely time with Jake today. Now he knows why he uh, has visited between shows. He's really getting into his colouring. Thank nice. you. And Kate in California in Somerset says, can you even see anything through those sunglasses, Ben? Not much. Uh... Cindy says, will the jigsaw die fit through the Gemini or do you need the Pro? Mm. 10 by 8. 10 by 8, so that'll fit through your, yeah, that'll fit through your Gemini. Mm. Yes, it will. Just, just, but what does need to be an A4 machine. So you know what you want to do if you're going to make, um, you want to make jigsaw dies, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, brother? What are you going to do, brother? <laughs> Buy it for £11.99 or 9.59. That is what you call a WrestleMania deal. It is, yeah, that's mm. a Smackdown deal. Next up, chalkboard stamps. Now, we, we had a little bit of a sneaky peek at these earlier on, uh, if you were watching Masterclass, because you were using these uh, alongside the uh, layout collection, weren't you? I did indeed, yes. Yeah. Mm. So we're just using them. I'm just showing you how you can use. Initially, they're called chalkboard because the initial concept do white heat embossing onto black cardstock. However, these are still our top quality photopolymer stamp, so you can still use all of your ink pads, your colour bloom, your water reactive pigment, all of them. So don't be put off by the name chalkboard. They are our lovely top quality stamps. Absolutely right. Right, and the price again is incredible. £10.40 or $20 at HE if you're shopping in the, uh, the US and you're a Platinum member. Uh, let me show you all the designs you're going to get and then Craig's got some finished samples. And this is the point, right? And I think, you know, sometimes with our products, like these when we launched some chalkboard stamps and it was all very much, well, this is what you must do with them. You know, you've got to do this sort of chalkboard effect. But actually, no. If you want to use these and bring in some colour as well, uh, then absolutely you can do that. And that's what these um, boards here show you. So you're getting all nine of the stamps uh, for just 1040 or 2080. Uh, and this is what you're getting. Life is tough. But so am I, brother. <laughs> I mean, no, it doesn't say that. Life is tough, but so are you. Laughter is the best medicine. Hopefully we're bringing you some laughter tonight. I hope so. Next is go out there and do amazing things. Then you've got uh, the greatest thing you can be is yourself. It is indeed. The greatest thing you can be is Hulk Hogan or a wrestling referee. May you be forever blessed, brother. Life is too important to be taken seriously, as said by the famous vet, Oscar Wilde, brother. Oh, and yeah. Enjoy the sweet little moments. Pardon you. Do more of what makes you happy. Watch wrestling. Yes. And finally, make your dreams happen. Well, I always want to be a referee for the yeah. WWE. So you've done it now, haven't you? Done it. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, we will show everything on the show shortly. Hilary, I know you want to see the reveal wheel stuff. Absolutely, we're going to show that very shortly indeed. Uh, but let's have a look at some finished samples with you. Let's do that, yeah. So, 
all of these predominantly are white heat emboss onto black cardstock. As I said, uh, verbalised the concept of these ones originally. But you can still be using all of your inks. You can use your Stay Sticky glue and you can use your Gildan Flakes. I mean, there's a lovely one where it's been used with that ombre effect with some of your water-based ink pads. And it's always nice to have it as the focal point. I know for those that watch on a daily basis, I know I say this quite a lot, but one of the questions I get asked often when it comes to sentiments on cards, that is, where do you put the topper and where do you put the sentiment? Mm -hmm. Well, the great thing with these is the sentiment is the topper. So that is the focal point. I mean, using it with our stencils in the background, with our uh, glitter paste, and then using this one of them, as that focal point going in there with the black and doing the drop shadow but you can still do all your fun cards you can do your diorama cards as i showed earlier on within the layout collection masterclass why not start to use them when it comes to the layout collection i done that one many many moons ago i really loved that one because i never thought that orange and blue would work well together but it really really does and then just uh, one or two more you know keeping it simple with your uh, colour card stock are of course great for the males and one last one for now that you can see here so although you've got your stamp there maybe use your nesting dies your fancy frame dies to die cut them out but please don't think you can only use them on a black card with your white heat emboss in there are photopolymer top quality stamps to use with all your inks excellent stuff and a, a smash down price tonight you're saving 31 pounds almost 64 dollars across the set so grab them whilst you can uh, deals will not be hanging about um hi to stephanie says ben the imitation is cracking me up and jill says paul bearer lol that's it my son had the figures and the wrestling ring oh, i've got them all do you know something very briefly because i myself and ben are off next week one of my plans is to tidy up my craft room a bit and some of my non-crafters companion stuff i need to put up in the loft i need to tidy my loft and i know what i'm going to find in my loft and that's 30 years worth of action figures wow. wwe rings they fit in their packets um, no, they're not, but I've got a lot of WWE VHSs as well. So. Nice. Mm. Uh, hi, Craig and Ben. This is Sarah, Team Social and Crafty Friends. Hello from Arkansas. Haha, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Um, we're, we're getting into we're the trying. wrestling. You know, humour me, guys. It's once a year. Yeah. This is the last day. This is the last show that you're going to have me going on about WrestleMania. So, yeah. thank you. And the good news is for you guys as well, in a way, is that like Craig's not back on Monday because you can imagine on Monday all he's going to be doing is like talk, talking, probably messaging, well, mm -hmm. we'll be messaging each other about the matches. So he, he's kind of got a week to get over it. Um, so by the time he comes back, it'll all be like water under the bridge. Well, it's actually two weeks because the week I come back, I'm on at Hobby Maker uh. in the UK. So it'll have all die down by the time that I come back. Yeah. Um, next up, in our uh, Craft Voltamania, uh, let's take a walk down a country lane. With me, brother! Um, you're saving 80... Oh, <laughs> and the macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, that is very good. That. You should have got the macho man, Randy Savage costume. It's like 45 quid. And the only done large, it'd be hanging off me. It would have been funny. It would have been. Ooh, do it again. Oh, yeah, the battle main, Randy Savage. Um, Country Lane, £28 or 36 bucks is all you're going to pay for a 13-piece selection. Craig has got some finished samples again to show you over there. But look at everything that you're going to get. The, I'm not being funny. The, <laughs> I'm trying not to be funny. Uh, this is pretty much the full collection Sons paper pads. And you're getting it for an absolute steal. So... Look at the original price here, 122 or 150 dollars. It's 28 quid or 36 bucks. Incredible value, uh, and you get look everything. You're getting your hanging sign and vines. This is the one that reminds me of Shrek, the uh, Welcome to the Swamp. Then you're going to be getting your uh, cottage window. This is nice, right? Because you've obviously got the stamps and the dies, dies to cut out your stamps. But what is lovely about this is these can either be the little window shutters for your window. <laughs> Or these can be the little um, flower boxes to put your flowers in underneath the window. You've got all of your flowers there as well um, in stamp and die form. Then you're going to be, 
um, receiving the Country Lane lace frame. Again, take out the word Country Lane, and that is going to be, um, you know, for all sorts of different collections. You've got your beautiful lamp in there as well, the light up the lane. You've got all of your perennials in pots. So again, if you like to make sort of 3D cards, you can stamp those, cut them out, and create some fantastic images there. Then you have got the uh, Country Lace, um, collection which is the alien or monster die depending on how you look at it uh, that way it looks a bit monstery that way well it looks beautiful either way then you've got stamps and dies as far as the dust till dawn is concerned so once again um, stamps and dies which you might work into sort of more Christmassy collections Halloweeny collections potentially uh, you've also got stamps one of my favorite stamp sets here because it's the idyllic meadow where you've got uh, foreground mid ground and background so you've got big cow small cow Cardboard box. No. Uh, so you've got all the different all the different sizes of animal, which allows you to build up a super scene if potentially you were using it alongside one of my favourite cut and emboss folders of all time, the gateway to the country, which gives you that beautiful detailed emboss, this beautiful aperture, and look. Someone needs to oil that gate. But look, you've got the um, the gateway to the countryside where you could potentially pop uh, some of those into the background also on top of that you're going to be getting the garden gateway uh, another stamp and die set um, again allowing you to kind of almost reveal the scene from um, behind then you've got the perfect peony this is a set of dies that you can use um, with your paper you can use it with your vellum but more than that you can use it with your flower forming foam as well to create beautiful flower formed peonies also 400 stamens if you are going down the line of doing some uh, flower for, for flower forming and the last but by no means least you have two meters of your elegant lace now, uh, to take you through some uh, samples with this, uh, a new wrestler has just entered the fray. Can you do the Macho Man tune? Oh, is that the... Is that one of... Oh, yeah! The Macho Man! Thank you, Sarah. Is Let's that work. what Sarah's dress is? <laughs> You're going to be in trouble. You're going to oh, be in trouble. I'm on holiday after 40 minutes, so <laughs> out of office is going on until a week on Monday. <laughs> Let's yeah, have a look at you, this. When you open it back up again on Monday, don't bother coming back in. Okay. Yeah. What have you done to my dress, Craig? Let's have a look at some finished samples that we've got. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got all these. So using elements that Ben was just showing you there with the country lane. We've then also got your smaller cards. There's that embossing folder that Ben was just showing you there. And you can start to create that scene with the stamp set that you've got. There's the flower forming dies down at the bottom here. You've also, I mean, look at that one there. So this is using the folder again, but creating your theater cards, your diorama cards as well. Let's go in. I mean, it's beautiful, really, really beautiful. Great thing with this country lane, Ben, is whether it is spring, summer, autumn, winter, it doesn't really matter. No. You just change the colors in which you use to color or ink, you're going to be able to use it throughout the season. So that's from your country lane of that full collection that you just showed there. 13 piece set, finished samples there. Oh yeah. <sighs> this is really quite heavy. It's what? It's really quite heavy. Is it? Yeah, it's full of sequins. It actually quite suits you, you know. Do you think so? Yeah. Or it could be Ric Flair. That, well, that's what I was thinking initially. Um, <laughs> woo! What was his music? Oh, dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Uh, Craig, I love your passion uh, about WrestleMania. Uh, that has just come in from as my tablet crashes. Um, oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, Colleen Posadi. Uh, absolutely, you enjoy it, Craig. It's all fun, says it Jules. Is. Uh, and Catbot says, Craig, I'm looking forward to WrestleMania. I would love a route in your attic. You can have a route in my attic any time now you're down my way. Uh, as Jossie says, Ben and Craig, you should get your own show. We do. We do. Like right now. Well, I know what you mean. That would be fun. Can you imagine? I'd love that. Uh, I would. Hi, all. I'm joining from Minnesota and I've been watching whilst I was crafting. Break time, says Mary Beth. Lol, OMG, says Jules. That was your Randy Savage impression. And I think Craig has stole Sarah's dress, says Anne. He definitely has. Definitely have. Uh, Carletta says, that was a very good macho man, Craig. Thank you. Uh, and Clarice says, Craig, 
hilarious. Thank you. I'm not good at impressions, as we all know. You but, are. you know, I, I'm quite, I, I think I'm quite good at Macho Man. And you could do another really good impression as well. Am I? Yeah. You could deny it, please, yeah? Oh, Mr. Doubtfire, yeah. You could deny it, Doubtfire, dear. Oh, throw the hair. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, let's follow one of your hairs. That was horrible. <laughs> uh, right, next up, Hilary wanted to see the reveal wheel, so that is what we are going to do. So it is time to spin the wheel! Um, because this is incredible. For instead of fifty pounds or sixty-nine bucks, you are paying eleven pounds twenty or sixteen dollars for the, this. Is the full kit and caboodle once again, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Where you've got the ability, and Craig will show this better on cards because I never think the boards really show this off in the best light. Um, because, as you always say, isn't it good to mount the wheel on a little, um, like to raise it up a little bit so it spins a bit better, isn't it, Craig? Yes. Sorry. The wheel, it's good to mount it on a bit Sorry. of foam so it spins a bit better, I've isn't just it? watched myself on the screen. Isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, what? Never mind. It is. I was trying to involve him. It is. Yeah. So, so it spins a bit better yes. so it's not yes. flat to the cards. Yes, that top layer, pop it on foam yeah. pad so that you're lifting it up so you've got that good spin. Yeah, so you'll see it in just a few moments' time uh, with Craig when he's got his finished samples out <laughs> of this. Got them. Oh, you have? Is that them there? Yeah. Oh, fine. Um, so you've got your, all your worker die there, right, and your worker set, and with this, you've got your first little aperture, right, but with the set, I'm about to bring you, you get loads of extra apertures and loads of extra sentiments as well. So you spin this one around, and it could be, have a great birthday, have a brilliant anniversary, have a terrific, does that say graduation? Graduation, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so that's like your worker set with stamps, and then you get all of these additional elements. If you've not yet picked this up, do yourself a favour and buy it today, because it's an absolute steal. So you've got your star aperture. That comes with even more little uh, sentiments that you can pop in. So uh, this could be a card to, uh, well, you're a vibrant human. Uh, you are a brilliant person. You are a super friend. Then you've got your hearts, from the heart. This uh, has sayings like uh, sending rainbows, just for you, sending laughter to cheer you up, uh, sending hugs and loads more. Then you've got the candy or the sweets, as we would say here, which is called Sweet Delight. So there's your aperture, cut in your little candy uh, aperture there, and you've got to a sweet friend, to a delightful sister, to a beautiful person. Next is your speech bubble. Uh, and again, same sort of thing here. You've got thanks from me to you. Uh, big thanks, enormous thanks, massive thanks. Then you've got your little cloud in there as well, your dream cloud. Uh, that comes with, hope your day is terrific. Hope your day is super duper. I hope your day is superb. And then lastly, uh, the festive balloon. There's your little diet and then all the sentiments there include things like wishing you a totally terrific celebration, wishing you a totally uh, fun-filled birthday, wishing you a totally super party. Um, it's a wonderful set and also, you're not just limited to the zillions of stamps that you've got there because there's nothing to stop you uh, popping your own stamps in or indeed writing your message on there as well if you want it to be a little bit cheeky and quirky. But it's a £35, $48 saving today. Uh, absolutely unbelievable value for money. Let's have a look at some finished samples with Craig, brother. Let's do it. Now, I'm showing you this one first because this top panel, you're going to want to raise on foam pads. What I would highly recommend, and again, the reason I'm showing that this one, because it's not been done, this base, this circle, what I would say is in the center at the back, you want to raise it up with foam pads. You do get instructions, go on our YouTube, type it in when it comes to the reveal wheel, there's lots of tuitions there. But can you see, it just makes it, because this circle is flush against the base, it makes it harder to get your, your finger in there to spin. We can mm. see that. It makes it that little bit more difficult. Yeah. Whereas if I bring this one, because the reveal wheel, you can see we can get my finger underneath it there. It just means it's a lot, lot easier. So that's exactly what Ben was meaning beforehand. It's always good. So the base circle here, lift it up on foam pads as well. But you can then go on to your larger cards. You can go on your elongated cards that you can see. You can start to do all your inking, bring in your luxury cardstock with your shedless glitter. And as you were saying, Ben, that you're going to be able to use your own little sentiment stamps or even yeah. your tiny little dies if you're using them as short words and mix and match with so the stamps that you get from one set, you know, the stamps that you get with a sweetie set, you could use 
the love heart aperture if you want. So you've got that creative play. It means that you can start to do your seasonal ones as well if you want to. It doesn't necessarily have to just be for the special occasions throughout the year, but you can go bright if you want to. How fab is that? And another one there with the craft and white being Christmas time, but you can do that. Another prime example, this one, the circle, the base has not been lifted on foam pads. Now it does work, but you have to really try and press your finger in there. So the best tip we can give you is when you assemble it, that center one, you're going to want to pop on foam pads, but that's your reveal wheel with all these different ideas. Cheers, Craig. -o. Um, comments still coming through. Stephanie says, I didn't comment on Masterclass this morning and need to go back to finish watching, but it was brilliant, Craig, and the memories brought back to me with wrestling and Ninja Turtles with my kids <laughs> made the day start off happy and a smile. Thank you, says Stephanie. You are welcome. Do you know, do you know what? And do you know what? Certainly on social, the reason I love to post bits and that about... Um, wrestling and some of you might say it nothing you nothing to do with wrestling you don't like watching it you've never have done but there's surprising been a lot of you that will private message me off the back of a wrestling post go oh craig i used to watch with my granddad or i used to watch with yeah. my nan or i used to i don't oh, do you remember such and such so it's that it's that uh, conversation building on social as well which i really love to hear because sometimes i forget about certain wrestlers names i used to watch it with my granddad so you know it's lovely um, Stephanie says, Ben and Craig, it's Blake's sixth birthday today. Can I get a happy birthday to her from you? She's a CC crafter too. Well, Blake, happy sixth birthday, brother. Blake, Blake, have a cracking birthday. Hope you have a fantastic birthday and you're not going to be out for the count. One, <laughs> two, three, ding, ding, ding. That's good, wasn't it? That was good. Uh, hi also to uh, Cindy says love the reveal wheel great price for that and thank you Ben and Craig says Hillary who wanted to see it are you picking it up though that's the question because it is such a deal it is in her basket now which is marvellous uh, and what a bargain says Karen Fisher for those country loan elements I've made some really cute cards with this collection and Terry H uh, lovely Terry just says OMG I can't understand or believe what you are OMGing about because obviously we are being very very serious Profesh. and professional Profesh. we're going to take a break now brother so um, get to the checkouts and check out your cart and we will be back with the final mm, 20 minutes or so in just a few moments time of tonight's Craft Vault of Mania Brother. Oh, yeah. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in where literally I get I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we went to work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. <gasps> Masters. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lips. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. Day-to-day -day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, 
um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air, because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week. Um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of the project. So craft along is definitely my favourite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. Welcome back, brother. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you so much, boys, says Stephanie, for the birthday shout out. There was somebody else who was celebrating a birthday today and I saw a message and I'm trying to think who it was now. Um, if you're celebrating your birthday today and you ask for a shout out, it was on one of Happy our posts birthday. that we put up on Instagram. I want to say your name is Sarah McKinney. I might have made that up. It was on one of, it was, it was on, you know the two videos that we did today? It was on either Craig's video or my video and it said, can I have a shout out? It says my birthday today. I think it was you, Sarah McKinney. If it was, happy birthday. If it wasn't, I've made that up. We'll find out who it was. Uh, of course, I have the reveal wheel in my basket, says uh, Cindy Rossi Richmond. It is overflowing and I need a second basket. You might need a third basket in a minute because we're not showing you all of the deals. It was Sarah McKinney, what a memory. Happy birthday, Sarah McKinney. Hope you have a great day. Uh, Dawn the Valley says, Hi Craig and Ben, I've just joined Peacock TV to see what this WrestleMania is all about and I'll check in on Monday. I was just learning from Craig in the break that apparently you guys in the States don't have the WWE network that we do. No. So you have to watch it on Peacock. That's right, yeah. So yeah, everything that you was on WWE Network in America is now on Peacock, which of course has been like that for a couple of years. Here in the UK, we still get the WWE Network. However, come January, here in the UK and Europe, Netflix has taken over and mm. all WWE content is going to be on Netflix. For you guys stateside, it's only Monday Night Raw at the moment, come January. Um, oh, we're talking Netflix, by the way. You know, you, you guys know I love the TV show Monk. Mm -hmm. All the episodes have now landed on Netflix, so I'm a very happy camper um, of a night now. I need to go back and re-watch all of my favourite episodes. Uh, Pat says, I'm so excited. My CC order is coming today. I have several things, including pieces for the Enchanted Oceans collection, as well as more ink pads. What about a fantastic deal on some de de decoupage? Uh, decoupage, some people say decoupage. Decoupage flower stamps and dies. And these are incredible because I know that we do, we've done sets previously, haven't we, where we give you the dies and then we give you the pads so you can cut out the individual elements. I actually uh, love this way of doing things because you've got stamps and then the dies here to be able to cut these out. So you can really choose how your decoupage is going to look uh, by adding colour, by adding your inks. Um, but it's fantastic again, because they're never going to run out. As long as you've always got your card stock and your pens to colour them in, uh, then away you go. You've got um, four different florals in here. This one is that beautiful lily. And the price is phenomenal. £13.60 or 16 bucks is your platinum price on this. Um, you're saving 42.96 or 47.80, -E. just ridiculous value. And as I said, so many beautiful flowers, big bold stamps that you can uh, multi-cut. You know, if you want to go bigger with your lilies again, multi-cut, stamp them out, multi-cut them, uh, and add more layers to these. You even get the little stamens on that beautiful lily as well. Then you've got your beautiful fragrant sweet pea. Um, once again, you choose the colours that you want to be working with when you colour these in, add your inks to them. They're just going to look brilliant. And of course, all of those stamps uh, to be working with. Then you've got this one here, which is the beautiful radiant rose. Uh, we've done it in yellow, but again, you've, you've got the two um, stamps, 
and then obviously the dies to cut them out with the detail as well which is brilliant in the actual dies but multi-cut these um, again you know um, use your um, 3D glue, pop these down and create some really, really stunning um, 3D projects with your decoupage. And then last but by no means least, you have got your lovely lilac. Um, and again, loads of different individual stamps there to be able to stamp out, use the dies to cut them out and build them up, layer them up to create some beautiful decoupage florals uh, for an absolute steal. And uh, Craig has got some finished samples that how you cope with long hair. Uh, um, need a hairband or something. Um, a bandana. Huh? Bandana. Yeah, I haven't tied it properly, have I? Um, uh, yes, finished samples. These, uh, now, very rarely will you hear us say use copier paper, but this die set, stamping die set, this works absolutely perfect with inexpensive copier paper, round about 80 GSM, because of course you've got that flexibility, that fluidity, but then what you've got is that shape and dimension as well. Now, yes, you've got the stamps and you've got the dies, but once you go into YouTube, if you type these in, what you will find is the die is actually been just a little bit smaller than the actual flower. Okay. So that then means that you get no outside stamped edge, you get more of a realistic. So if I show you this leaf here, can we see how the leaf has no black outer edge? Yeah. The black detail is only in the veining, and that's what you're going to find within all the stamps. So it just means it gives it a bit more realistic again here. That's an inky edge, it's not a stamped edge, it's in the vein and that's where you've got the detail. So whether you want to shape them, you can do that. Whether they're going to go in and create a little accent corner within your cards. I mean, look at that one. Now, you know, what all, we? all transparency, you're going to be Oof. making a box for something like that. Yeah. Look at that, absolutely fabulous. I'm talking about fabulous. When we first launched these, uh, some of these ones, you, you'll recognise from the front of the packaging, and that's uh, Bianca's done these ones here. Absolutely exceptional. You'll tend to find either Bianca or Nicole. Finished samples are what you'll find on the front of packaging. And these ones here are Bianca's. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely fab. You know, we've got an incredible design team, of course, headed up with Nicole and Bianca. Just incredible. Uh, there you go. And you can pick all of these up for that ridiculous price on screen. Ridiculous costumes, ridiculous prices. Uh, it is full of the ridiculousness tonight. Um, good to know, Craig, says Stephanie. I'll have to try this on copy paper. Love your shirt, Craig, says Dawn Lavallee. Thanks. The referee. Which referee is your favourite ref? Uh, Charles Robinson. Charles Robinson. Yeah, I do like Charles. So he's yeah. an, an original uh, WCW guy. Yeah, he was. Actually, back in the day, he had long blonde hair. Yeah, he did. He did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's the one, the, the, the meme, the meme. You know when you see a referee, running WWE referee, ring. running gr down the great big ramp at one of the past WrestleManias? I've used it in the past for me and Ben. It's, it's him. Yeah. Great guy, great guy. Not yeah. that I know him personally. One of my faves back in the day. Earl, Earl Hebner. Hebner. Yeah. Errol Hebner. He's not around anymore, is he, I think? He kind of got shafted from WWE uh, a couple of years, done some bad things. Uh, uh, yeah. Charles Robinson, then. We'll go with him. Um, right, next. Ah, corner punches. These have proved so popular over the course of the uh, last couple of days or so. I wouldn't be surprised if these end up in our big second chance Sunday cannon. You know about that, right, this weekend? Of course you do. Of course you do. Uh, we've got some new content coming your way. Uh, one o'clock tomorrow, mm -hmm. UK time, mm -hmm. 8 a.m. Eastern. One o'clock Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then 5 p.m. Sun Sunday. Yes, 12 noon. 12 noon. Eastern time. Yeah, 9 a.m. Pacific. Oh, 11 a.m. Central time, 9 a.m. Yeah. Pacific time. Um, second chance Sunday, where we're going to be counting down your top 10 favourite items of the week. I I'm, a, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'd bet these are in the future. Um, I haven't seen these in ages and I absolutely love them because they are going to give you the opportunity to finish off your projects with beautiful punched corners and as Craig uh, was describing a little bit earlier on during our masterclass, you can use these uh, once you, and it will show you. Have you got the actual punches there? I do indeed. It will show you how you take out the little bottom bit to um, turn them into little, um, so you can create little legibles with them. But you'll see in a minute. Anyway, the designs you're going to get are your decorative hearts. I would definitely be keeping the waste elements here that you can pop back into shakers or um, do a little bit of pepperoni thing. Uh, you've then also got your decorative corner. 
You're also going to be receiving this one here, which is the Deco fan. So if you love your Art Deco, that's one I'm sure that you're going to be um, keeping to hand. Uh, you've got this one here, Photo Corners. So again, um, you know, if you love to do things like your scrapbooks, memory albums, I think that one is one that you're going to be using a lot. Then you're going to be getting this, which is the beautiful Fleur de Lis. Also in the set is the uh, decorative scallops. So all of those, you've got the ability to punch your corners, but then also create your um, edgeables with. The rounded three in one is brilliant because it's one punch, but three different sizes um, of rounded edge. So depending on exactly what you want or depending on the size of your card uh, project, you've got the ability to be able to create that really beautiful finish rounded edge um, on a project. Let's have a look at these with Craig. The price is insane. So £28, $36. If you're in the uh, UK, it's £4 a punch. And uh, Craig has got some finished samples to show you. I do indeed. Yeah, we'll show you them how you can use them within the cards. And we will do a really quick demo where we can show you how you can do that edgeable factor. But what you can then do is your little squares, your rectangles if you want. So they're a great one to set your toppers on. Maybe your sentiments. Imagine using these ones, Ben, with your layout collection. Yes. For your little sentiments. That would be fab. Absolutely fabulous. Have a little play as well when it comes to your card stock and the sizes of your card. Nice, you know, if you like your mats and layers like I do, well, it's a really, really nice alternative just to have a little bit of a different design when it comes to each of the layer. These ones are just your little inbuilt, just into the corners there. The little tuck in, but you could do little pockets there. I mean, they really are beautiful sets. Nice to have kind of a resurgence when it comes to the actual corner punches. These are great for photos. So if you like to use original photos, but don't want to use glue, although like to ours is acid and lignant free that you can be using our glue. Even I still don't like to use our glue with my uh, original photos with, you know, my gran and my granddad and, and nan and granddad. So you can use those corner ones. It's just a nice way to tuck the photos in. But if we take one of them, let's go in with, let's go in with this one here. We don't have the names on them, so I can just show you from above the one that we're taking. And if you want to then just get the centre point, whatever size of cardstock you want, if you want it to be symmetrical and equal, you can just find your centre point. But you can take the base out. Now, I know that I've just done that really, really quick there. So let's just pop it back in so that you can see. If I actually show you, let's show you them on the corner. So you've got that angle, so that's a 90 degree angle. Yeah. You're going to slot it in and slot your card in so it's in that 90 degree. You can hold it, press. If you want to then, of course, press down, you can do that. But then there is your corner, one of, uh, well, one of six corners, and then the other one, the seventh one, you've got three different rounded corners. But not just for the corners. Now, the reason I want to do that as well is your waist is held inside. So if we keep that off, Ben, we can then bring that in because we've now done away with that 90 degree point. So we can take our cardstock or our paper and we're just going to then line and lay this right up against that back as far yeah. as it'll go in. And then we're just going to then just press. And then where we've got the edge that has punched, we're going to match that up just into the edge of the punch where my little pinky is there. We're going to align that up, to so do that again, line that up just into the corner, and then we're going to press. We're going to then travel along, so we're going to keep doing that, just as those cross over. Now, on the website, I believe it says, uh, really good, Max Weight Cardstock 180. Now, although we do say that on the website, this will absolutely cut your Centura apparel. Okay. So your, uh, you know, your 310 GSM. So although it says that, please don't think that that's all that you can do, like round about your 180. A little bit of a gu uh, guide. If you want that real ease of punch cut, 180, it's going to be absolutely fab, but you can absolutely do the, your 310 GSM. The only difference, Ben, you might find with something like a 310 GSM, you might have to press downwards. Yeah. But it will still punch, so don't worry about that. And now we're just going in the opposite direction. We're working our way along, we're traveling, we're punching. If you're doing this, though, obviously, take note that um, you don't have your waist guard on. No. So you will you make a mess. Yeah. So let's go into here. That's such a cool demo, though. It shows how multifunctional they are. Exactly. Yep, so there we've now got that edge, and really you could be using that, that one there, it could be uh, treetops. 
down at the oh, bottom. Yeah. Maybe you want to do little wraps around, you know, I know uh, Queen Becky's in next week. Yeah. So, you know, make a longer one there, and that could be for her. Can you imagine as well, say this was like a candle one. candle jar or oh, something like that. I was thinking like a wine that. bottle. Or a water bottle. A wine bottle. Wine bottle, or a wine bottle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wine bottle, anything like that. Nice to decorate some ribbon, some twine, all the way round. But there you go, you've got your corner punches, not just for corners. Is that right? Uh, Zoe says, yay, Brian and I have missed the weekend shows. Thank you for bringing back some of the shows. Uh, you're welcome. And um, Susie will be on those social shows, so you will be able to chat along with each other um, and join in the fun. There, there, there's some fun shows coming your way this weekend, actually. Um, Karen Fisher says, I never think about using these for a border, so thank you for the reminder. And just quickly going back, uh, Craig, um, mm -hmm. when you were talking about the flowers, Pat says, Craig, if you suggest using regular copy paper for the flowers, mm -hmm. what kind of ink would be best for me to use? So um, you can still use any ink. What you would just need to keep in mind, regular copper, copy or paper will really suck up the ink. So keep that in mind. So you can still, you're not going to get a great blend or anything like that with an alcohol pen. But if you want to coat it, if you want to colour it with an alcohol pen, a water-based pen, an ink pad, something like that, you can still do it. Just keep in mind it really will suck and soak up the ink. That can work because then that can start to crinkle the petals and then you're going to get a really nice crinkled effect. So keep that in mind. The flexibility from, of course, the uh, copier paper is going to be great. It will suck up the ink or the water, but then maybe that's going to then, of course, uh, benefit what you're actually uh, going to end up looking like. Uh, great price, though. £28, $36, brother. And, um, you know, why wouldn't you? We're nearly at the end of the show. I can't believe where the hour has gone. Um, so thank you for tuning in and watching. Everything is there for you on the web. Don't forget as well, by the way, must just mention, obviously we're highlighting a few of the deals from the spring sale, but there's loads there. Um, across on the website, you'll see the spring sale section. Have a look at it, pick out the deals, up to 70% off. I know we've had uh, deeper discounts than that on the show, but it is definitely worth having a little bit of a sneaky peek out. Um, and all of these bundles, yeah, basically, if you're buying the bundles on this show, you're getting them even cheaper than what they are on the website currently. But I would keep an eye on that. Uh, Craig and I, of course, are not here next week. However, uh, the spring sale continues, and I know, because Hogan knows best. Um, oh, that was a brilliant reality show. Thank you, brother. Um, what was I going to say now? Spring sale still going next week. Oh, yes, and Hogan knows best. Brother. There's more stuff being added as we go into next week and towards the oh, end of next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> jigsaws, this, uh, for me, like on this show, you absolutely, if you haven't yet got the abstract jigsaw um, multimedia die, that 44 piece one, you need to pick that up because you can make proper jigsaws, um, which I think you have a lot of fun with. These are the multimedia jigsaw dies, which I feel are a little bit more decorative. Like if you want to make these and pop them into little boxes for people to put together, you can. But I see these more, Craig, as like decorative elements. Would you agree for like cards rather than like, you know, making them as particular puzzles? Yeah, not how we yeah. do. Yeah, completely agree. Uh, but again, multimedia dies, so you can cut through a whole host of different mediums with them. And you're getting four of these for just £9.60. Now, I'm struggling to do the maths late on a Friday, uh, but 51.96 or 67.96 is what they should be. Uh, well, you are. You're getting all four of these if you're platinum for less than what you would normally pay for one. Um, so if you like the look of them and appreciate, you know, you might have seen these a few times before, but if you haven't yet picked these up, if somehow you've missed them, tonight is the night to grab them. Because you've got so many fun elements here. The heart, you've got that beautiful star, which I think will be, um, you know, fun for uh, so many different occasions. You've also got your um, butterfly in there too. Um, and then alongside that, you have got the beautiful missing piece. Uh, I think it's Sarah or someone that always says with these, uh, nice to kind of cut these onto um, your magnets and put them on the fridge to do little puzzles with. Or you could have it as like a little, um, try to think how you could like, can you, you could cut the aperture into the card and then get the person to like build the little um Hey, that's a good idea. On the card, couldn't you? That's a really good idea, yeah. Like that idea. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Really good. Yeah. You got some finished samples? I do indeed, yes. Yeah. So these are some of, uh, just some ideas as to what you can do with these ones. I mean, you can still use them. This is what you were saying where you can use them as just kind of like the decorative when it comes to the focal point. 
you've got that missing piece here, but you can still do all your inky, you can do all your stamping over your uh, mount boards if you want to. But nice one, I think it's a really good idea, popping them on your card, your project, and just having a couple of pieces, maybe one, maybe two, just sitting to the side. Maybe you're going to do block colors, maybe again, distressing onto your mount board, Photos of loved ones, really lovely ones. Great set there on cracking prices, Ben was saying, getting them all essentially for just one set. Absolutely. Um, £9.60 or $12.80, brother. Uh, we've only got a few minutes left on the show. Just before we go, quick reminder that um, back in stock, we do have the shimmer shimmer watercolor palettes these are incredible both of the palettes available for you it's the first time actually since birthday that we've had both of the sets available for you um, and the great deal about this is you'll get the sunbeam and you'll get the moonbeam plus for free we're going to throw in the brushes so you get those three brushes free uh, within the actual deal itself and as we always say the Sunbeam going to work best for you on your uh, lighter cardstock. In fact, we kind of say just use that on like your white cardstock, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then you've got your Moonbeam, which I mean, that's my favourite of the two. Yes, on white cardstock. But um, do we agree it looks better on the darker cardstock? Oh, definitely. Stock? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you're just spraying your um, palettes to activate the paint and away you go. If it's shimmer that you're after, then that set you absolutely need. 39.98 or 47.92 with your brushes for free and also just to mention something else which you might not be aware of is the um, card and envelope packs that we've got for you these are a6 size um, and i well i think it's brilliant to have your um obviously your pre-made cards i know craig um, likes to craft with those um if you want to make your own cards you can but absolutely you need these in your stash because you've got 50 of your white with the 50 envelopes to go with 50 of your craft card with the envelopes to go with, um, you know, uh, sort of craft room core content really. And then, oh, I love the pastels with all the colors of the rainbow. These are absolutely beautiful. So you get those included within the bundle as well. What a deal, uh, 100 in each pack, 50 envelopes, 50 cards. So 150 card blanks, 150 envelopes for 12 pounds or 15, 20. That is a steal, stock up whilst you can. You are welcome everybody and that is what we call a show. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for all of the lovely uh, comments coming through. Zoe says, enjoy your holidays, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, happy holidays to you both. Enjoy the wrestling, says Hilary. Oh, I will. And um, Christine says, Ben and Craig, have a great time off. We will miss you both. We'll miss you guys too. Bless um, you. Have a great time off and have a great WrestleMania weekend. I will do it. I cannot wait. You have a good time Thank as you. well. And don't message me because I know you'll be watching it live. So don't message me till I message you. I promise I will not. I will not message you whatsoever. Yes, mm -hmm. I will wait because as you said, I'm watching it live. I will wait till you message me. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, gonna be good. I cannot wait. It's Cody Rhodes, is he going to, is he going to do it? Yeah. Is he going to, is he going to finish the story? Is Hulk Hogan going to make an appearance, brother? Stone Cold? He going to be there? John Cena. It's going to be good. It's yes. going to be good. WrestleMania 40, Philadelphia. Don't forget to uh, keep watching across the weekend. Brand new content coming your way. Two brand new craft alongs and a brand new Second Chance Sunday for you as well. So Craig and I will be here, but won't be here if you know what I mean. You'll still be able to comment along. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much One, for watching, everybody. We'll see two, you in a week or so. Three, two, dogs.